My name is Angelo Zapatos. I'm the hatchery manager for the Thad Cochran Marine Aquaculture Center, part of the University of Southern Mississippi. This is what we see. Egg developing with an embryo on the inside. You see the little oil droplet? And this thing is actually the yolk sac. So when they hatch, they have no, they have eyes, but they're not developed. They have a mouth that's not open. They have this oil droplet and everything here is the yolk sac. So they'll live for about 48 hours entirely relying on yolk sac uh, contents. 48 hours later, the eyes open and the mouth opens. You don't see the mouth really good in this picture, but there's like a little upside down check mark and then the oil droplet is still there, right? Nothing in the gut, empty gut. 10 days later, full gut, that oil droplet that develops into the swim bladder, they got the caudal peduncle right here where they form the tail and they start getting scales and you can see the spots, right? They also develop teeth. This is the time that they start eating each other. So well, from, from, this, from this point on, it becomes a balance between food and system management to mitigate the impact of cannibalism. If we leave them alone, We'll lose, you know, anywhere from 50%, 60% of the stock in a tank at this stage to cannibalism. We end up with like, you know, a whole bunch of fish, nowhere near as many as we wanted, that are really big, beautiful fish, but they ate everybody else. All right? 15 days later, they transition onto like a, a formulated diet, a pellet diet, something that's artificially uh, made using ingredients like uh, animal protein, like fish protein or plant protein, depending on what diet you're gonna do. It can be slow sinking, rapidly sinking or floating, but we wean them and transition them onto that diet. Because when we get to these stages right here, we can't have plankton big enough to put in the tank in abundance that's gonna accommodate them to eat and grow. And they're already eating each other. And we did studies to see if we give them more food, would they stop eating each other? And the answer is no. But there's tricks, we have tricks up our sleeves that we can reduce the impact and take it from like 25, 30, 40, 50 percent and take it down to like 10 percent. So you only lose 10 percent of your fish to cannibalism as opposed to half of what you got in. But 23 to 25 days later, they're about an inch. They got all the spots, they got the choppers, they're eating dry food and they're ready to go.